brake light warning. What it means? It means my brakes are, well, still good, but getting thin. So I inspected the thickness of the pads. The front ones are still pretty decent. They were actually replaced when I bought the car by the dealer. The rear one are in not so great shape. They still have enough meat to work, but uh, they are so thin, the sensor actually throw the message. I think I put about 500 miles on the vehicle already with those thin brake pots. So we are going to replace it. What I have here is, here are my Evolution brake pads and new sensors. In the description below, you will find the link to those parts. So this is a complete brake pad set. What we have here, we have new hardware. Of course, we have carbon fiber ceramic brake pads, which means no dust. And we have brake grease. If you don't know what this is for in your toolbox, I'll show you. Okay, now to remove the rotor, we will need triple squares. Uh, I'm not sure if we need splines, which I don't have, but I have, but I have triple squares. Okay, let's see if I have the right size. Owning a number of German cars, at some point I bought. I bought these, uh, this is the largest one. Let's see if it fits. Uh, nah, nah, that's too small. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to buy this. And I'm going to buy the triple squares. Proceed to checkout. Ta-da! We have triple squares and we have splines. By the way, links to those tools in the description below. You have to see up close. This is what I call perfect fitment. I started by disconnecting the brake sensor and removing the connector from the caliper. I used regular clamp to press the pistons into the caliper. No need for special brake tools with these brakes.
I am pretty sure these are original pads, look at them. I clean up the caliper with a wire brush. I installed a new hardware that came with the pad. You may need to use a screwdriver to push it into place. I put grease on all pins that the pads will use to move and also on the back of the pads to prevent any friction noise. Next, I installed the new sensor on the inner pad, pushed in with a screwdriver until I heard a click. I reinstalled the connector on the caliper and connected the new sensor. Again, a click is a sign that you installed it correctly. In the last step, just tighten the bolts. You don't want the caliper to go flying when you do 70. So this is how you do rear brakes on Volkswagen Touareg or Porsche Cayenne, because that's basically Porsche. You could tell bumper brakes are actually pretty easy to maintain. Took me 15 minutes to do this one side and then about 30 minutes yesterday to figure out the other first. Links to all the tools are in the description below. Thank you for watching this video hit that subscribe button give me thumbs up share this video and i'll see you in the next one